Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss BGP neighbor peer group configuration. BGP neighbor peer group configuration. First of all, let me make you familiar with this topology. As you can see here, I have two AS, AS100 and AS500. Router 5 and router number 6 are in AS500 and router 1, 2, router 4 are in AS100. Okay, I am running one loopback on all routers and through loopback interface here we are going to form BGP, IBGP neighborship between all routers. Here also, here also and here also. Done. And between router 3 and 5, I will configure eBGP neighbor. Here also, we will configure eBGP neighbor. First of all, tell me how many command I need to run on router number 1. On router number 1, first we need to run router BGP. Yes, number 100. After that, neighbor. Neighbor 3.3.3.3. Remote S. Yes. 100 after that neighbor 3.3.3.3 and update source loopback one because I am configuring BGP neighbor through loopback interface because I have written lots of path between 1.1 and 3.3.3. So if I will configure BGP through the physical interface IP address, so maybe when physical link will goes down, then BGP neighbor will also gone. But if I will configure BGP through loopback interface, if this link will goes down, no problem, BGP neighbor will still up via alternate path. So for connectivity between all loopbacks we will configure OSPF. Actually, I had already, already configured OSPF on all routers for connectivity. So here we need to run command neighbor 3.3.3 update source loopback 1. Suppose I want to configure authentication as well. So neighbor 3.3.3.3 and password let's say Cisco 1 to 3. Right? So I need to run these commands for all neighbor for router number three also for router number two also for router number four also that means four commands i need to run for one router that means 12 total 12 command i need to run on router number one 12 command on router number three 12 command on router four and 12 command on router number two and after that we need to run uh, you know few more commands on router three and router four to form neighbors if it uh, as 500 domain done so to reduce the number of command that engineer have run on router running in on router we have concept of neighbor peer group what i will do here on router number one i will create one peer group and through that peer group you can see how we will reduce the human effort here in bgp so first of all let me take you on router number one if you want to check the uh, existing configuration so ip interface brief exclude unassigned you can see I have configured IP like this. So IP. So IP interface brief as good. I have created this loopback and I have one loopback number 10 where I am running IP 1.1.1. And through this IP address, I am going to form BGP neighborship. On physical interface, you can see how I have, I have configured IP address. Okay. So IP addresses are there in front of you in topology. Okay, now I am going to configure one BGP peer group. So router BGP 100. First of all, we need to enable BGP 100 over here. After that, we will say neighbor. And here we need to define one name, right, of peer group, neighbor peer group. So let's say name is PM, PM net. Done. Or let's say only PM, not PM networking, only PM. And here I am going to say to neighbor PM and remote AS. First of all, need to create group. So neighbor, this is name of neighbor that is PM. And here I am saying peer group, hit enter. And now neighbor PM and update source, let's say look back 10. I have run this command in peer group whose name is PM. After that neighbor PM and uh, what do we say remote S remote S is 100 and if you want to configure authentication we you can configure otherwise you can leave now what I will do 
I will say neighbor two dot two dot two dot two, and this time I will call to my peer group. Peer group and name is PM. Okay. Do same thing for router number three. Here I don't need to define again what uh, remote AS or uh, update source loopback. Yes or no? So three dot three dot three. In the same way for four dot four dot four also. Let me do that. So see how easy it is configuring BGP now. Let me do same thing on router number two also. So on router number two also, I will create one peer group a router BGP one hundred and neighbor name is let's say PM and peer group peer group. After that neighbor PM update source loopback ten and neighbor PM remote AS 100 so these two command will automatically run now I am going to say neighbor 1.1.1 and peer group PM peer group PM so I have called the group let me do same thing for 3.3.3 as well you can see neighborship between router 1 and router 2 is up 2.2.2.2 to what is saying sorry not two total three dot three dot three okay and same thing for four dot four dot four also four dot four dot four dot four now I am going to configure R3 con 50 all loopback should be reachable to each other so do so IP route OSPF so you can see through OSPF all loopbacks are reachable with each other here 4.4.4 .4 .4 is there 2.2.2 .2 .2 is there and 1.1.1 .1 .1 is there right now router BGP 100 and neighbor PM peer group peer group after that neighbor PM update source loopback 10 and neighbor PM remote AS remote AS is 100 now I am going to say neighbor 1.1.1 1 .1 .1 and let me call to peer group peer group PM neighbor 2.2.2.2 neighbor 4.4.4.4 done now let me configure bgp on router number four here also i am going to create one peer group in the group we can run you know lots of command router bgp 100 and neighbor pm peer group and this name is locally significant you can configure anything on any router okay after that neighbor pm remote AS is 100 and neighbor PM update source loopback 10 done now neighbor 1.1.1 1 .1 .1 and peer group PM neighbor 1 dot no 2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. neighbor 3.3.3 .3 .3 .3. neighbor 3.3.3 done now if you want to verify so IP BGP summary so on router number 4 you can see neighbor is router 1 router 2 and router 3 and a state is up neighborship is up yes or no so this is how we can configure BGP neighbor peer group through this we can reduce the human effort we can reduce the number of command that we need to run here okay now on router number three I am going to configure BGP so on router number three command is router BGP 100 and neighbor 
neighbor is c5.5.5 is not reachable from here because between as 100 and 500 i am not running ospf i am running ospf only in this domain s100 yes, so neighbor is ip address 35.1.1.5 is the ip address which is running on router 5 interface 0 slash 0 after that remote as so remote as is 500 then neighbor 35.1.1.5 and nothing done now let me take you on router number five guys enable config t and router bgp 500 and neighbor is 35.1.1.3 whose remote as is 100 soon neighborship will come up between router 3 and router 5 so you can see neighbor is up now on router number three there are some ibgp neighbor and there are some ebgp neighbor so how we can verify so ip bgp neighbor this command and suppose my neighbor is 1.1.1.1 so i want to check the this neighbor in detail so i can run this command here you can see internal link means this is my igp i bgp neighbor remote as is 100 and my as is also 100 but if you will check neighbor so ip bgp summary if you will check the detailed information of this neighbor so ip bgp neighbor and 35.1.1.5 here you can see external link so this is my ebgp neighbor done now on between router 4 and router number 5 also i am going to configure bgp so router bgp 100 and neighbor is 46.1.1.6 whose remote as is again 500 done now on router number 6 enable config t or router bgp 500 and neighbor 46.1.1.4 whose remote as is whose remote as is 100 done so ip bgp summary so a state is idle soon it, it will come up now you can see done now i am going to advertise 50 and 60 prefix in bgp so on router number one what command i can run to advertise prefixes in bgp i have two options either i can uh, advertise prefixes through network command or i can redistribute connected so now i am going to run network command for all the prefixes and between router 5 and router 6 also we can form bgp neighborship and suppose you want to use any other protocols like egp so you can run that also no problem so on router number 5 what i am going to do i am going to form bgp neighborship here also because otherwise r5 will give 50 prefixes to router 3 only yes or no r5 will not advertise 60 prefixes and this router will also not get 60 uh, sorry 50 prefixes because this is ipgp neighbor between router 3 and router number 4 so router 3 will install receive this prefix from their ebgp neighbor so it will forward to their ebgp neighbor but router 4 will not forward to router number 1 or router 3 will forward to router 1 but router 1 will not forward that to router number 2 so okay now i am not configuring bgp over here so tell me router number 3 will receive 50 prefixes from how many side from one side only from router number 5 only right and 60 prefixes from router number 4 only because router 4 will not get 6, 50 prefixes from router number 6 and router number 3 will not get 60 prefixes from router number 3 so there will be only one path okay let me do that first here router bgp 500 and network 50.1.1.0 and mask is 255.255.255.0 let me do same thing for 50.1.2.0 as well for 50.1.3.0 as well and for 50.1.4.0 as well 5.0 as well okay now if you will check bgp table so ip bgp over here you can see this router have installed all prefixes in their bgp table done let me do same thing on router number six to advertise 60 prefixes 
now router bgp 500 and network 60.1.1.0 and mask is 255.255.255.0 okay so i have advertised all prefixes in bgp now on router number three if you will check routing table routing table of router three so ip uh, bgp first of all let me show you the bgp table so router three have received all 50 prefixes but there is one neighborship between router three and router four between router three and router four so router three also should receive what guys 50 uh, sorry 60 prefixes from router number 4 but router 3 is not receiving 60 prefixes from router number 4 may I know the reason this is the question why router 3 is not receiving 60 prefixes from router number 4 because router 4 is their IBGP neighbor so it will receive their these prefixes from their EBGP neighbor so it should advertise to their IBGP neighbor to router number 3 but it is not advertising so that is the reason on router number 3 you can see I am not getting 60 now I am getting 60 prefixes as well ok so definitely router 4 will advertise to router number 3 ok on router number 1 if you will run command what so IP BGP so IP BGP so here also you can see router 1 have also received all 50 prefixes and all 60 prefixes but these are only valid not best but 50 prefixes are valid as well as best and next stop IP address is sorry on router number one it will be only valid not best because the next stop IP address next stop IP address is 35.1.1.5 and 35.1.1.5 is not reachable from R1 so what we can do we can run command next stop self on router number three because router three is my age router okay so let me take you on router number three and here I am going to say router bgp 100 and neighbor 1.1.1.1 and update sorry next stop self so it will not work because here you have configure bgp peer group so if you want to apply next stop self command what you have to do neighbor 1 to 1 pm sorry you have to run this command next stop self in peer group okay so let me take you in peer group again guys neighbor pm peer group and here we will define what neighbor pm and update sorry next hop self pm next hop self so this command will apply for all neighbor done now on router number one if you will check root so IP BGP you can see 50 prefixes are now valid on router number 2 also you can verify enable so IP BGP 50 prefixes are what valid as well as best so this router will install all 50 prefixes so IP route BGP you can see all 50 prefixes are there in the routing table of router 2 but 60 prefixes are still not valid so what I want actually I want to see here these prefixes from router number 3 to router 1 and router 2 these prefixes to router number 3 but question is router 3 is not getting these prefixes from router number sorry but router 3 is getting these prefixes from router number 1 so router 3 will also advertise 60 prefixes when we will allow no 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 sorry actually router number 3 is advertise uh, receiving these prefixes from their IBGP neighbor so it will it is not going to send to their IBGP other IBGP neighbor this is rule in BGP so here we can break the rule by using rot reflector yes or no so let me do that so you can do that also or suppose I want to forward these 60 prefixes 
by our router number 4 so on router number 4 also we can run command next of self in peer group okay so let me do that on router number 4 here i am going to say neighbor pm peer group and neighbor pm uh, next of self done now you can verify the routing table of router 1 bgp table first you can see 60 prefixes are also now valid as well as best so ip route bgp so in the routing table also router have installed all prefixes now what i want that router 3 and router number 4 router 3 should receive these prefixes also from router number 4 uh, sorry yeah 50 prefixes also from router number 6 and 60 prefixes from router number 5 to router number 3 i want this so what i can do actually i want these 50 prefixes on router number 4 via router number 6 and these all 60 prefixes from router number 5 to router number 3 what i can do i can advertise i can form bgp neighborship between router 5 and router 6 okay so then what will happen if i will configure bgp neighborship over here router 5 will advertise these prefixes to router number 6 also and in the same way router 6 will advertise these prefixes to router 5 so let me do guys on router number 5 what i am going to do router bgp 500 and neighbor is 56.1.1.6 and remote as is same 500 okay in the same one router number 6 also i need to run one command neighbor 56.1.1.5 and remote as is 500 500 okay so again neighborship will come up let me check connectivity ping 56.1.1.5 yeah i am able to ping so bgp neighborship is there now if you will check routing table of router 3 or router number 4 bgp table so ip bgp so you can see this router is receiving 50 prefixes from both side from 3 also and 4 also yes or no but here next of ip address is 35.1.1.5 so that's why this is this one is what here valid as well as best but from router number 4 when it is getting it is not valid only sorry it is not best only valid so may i know the reason this is your question guys let me know in comment in next video i will make you understand bgp attribute this was just a basic configuration and here question is this prefix is only valid not best via router number 4 so tell me the reason why in the comment section okay we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye